Right, we're going to head round the stern of the container ship over here to starboard. So off we go again. So we're now gone from a force two to force seven, hard over at starboard. We're going to go round the stern of the container ship, which is over here. Five. <laughs> so round a bit more. Bring it around. Bring it around. Bring it around. So the lifeboat can take this weather. What I want to do is go between the stern of the container ship and the yacht, if possible. The yacht's being very brave, he's still got his spinnaker up. Right. <laughs> so if we head for that gap. So a little bit more um, realistic now. So you can immediately see the benefit of having a oh. <laughs> simulator. <laughs> We can uh, simulate any kind of weather conditions, snow, ice, fog, you name it. Anything up to hurricane force winds. You alright, Yeah. Just close your eyes if you feel a bit free. So we're going to aim, yeah, if we can aim for the tank of power again. We're going to look for more survivors. I'm going to pick the guys up in the yacht first, and we'll take them on. Prevention's better than cure, you see. Right, there's our Coast Guard cutter again, in the way. Right, if you can just aim for the bow of the, the tanker. So we're doing nearly 23 knots in this without any problem at all. So what we're looking for is more survivors in the water. So if you see one, give us a shout. Can I help you? So a bit more difficult in these conditions, yeah, I can see, see one flapping about there. Basically right on the bow. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so again, yeah, a little bit more difficult. Now can you imagine what it would be like at night time? Oh. Yeah. In a full gale like this. Pitch black. Like sea breaking over you. That's this is quiet in here at the moment. Can you imagine what it would be like with the engine noise going, the radios going, etc. Mm. etc. There's our American friend over there. Right. Can we go round the bow of the tank? So what you see in front of you is exactly what you would find on a lifeboat. So you've got a chart plotter, you've got radar, you've got a man what we call a management information system that tells you everything you need to know about the lifeboat. Right. So if you can go to port again and we'll head back into harbour. So again, in this situation with heavy seas, this guy flapping about, how would you pick him up? On each side of the wheelhouse there's a small jib. You drop the jib down, drop the line down and clip it onto get him to clip it onto the D-ring on his life jacket and he would literally just haul him up. Right. Yeah. Do I aim for that life, life ah, type no, thing? Ah, we, we should be over there. Ah! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the hole in the wall. Right, yeah, 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 we're going to go back through the breakwater. <laughs> over here, right. You like the yeah. Mm. Okay, there we are, between the two lighthouses. Uh, yeah. Sorry if we turn over, chaps. <laughs> <laughs> right, what I'm going to do is change the programme back now because with these rough seas, Dover Harbour is very shallow. We'd be hitting the bottom, we'd be running aground. Right. Uh, last year I forgot to do it, and unfortunately I had a crew of Royal Navy people. They thought it was amusing that the RLI ran aground inside Dover Harbour. <laughs> <laughs> Going, can you see the guy uh, over, 
of the head, yeah. The little rowboat, aim for that. But don't run him over, he gets upset. There's a tiny thing in the... In the water ahead, yeah. Yeah, right on the bow, virtually. So the thing is that we can replicate any part of the coast of uh, the UK Republic of Ireland. Uh, not, in, not every part is as detailed as this. There are about three or four locations which have this amount of detail. But as I say, you can see the advantage of having uh, a piece of equipment like this for teaching uh, not only search and rescue, but navigation, etc. I'll go to his right. Okay. As long as, you don't, as long as you don't run him down, it'll be okay. Am I allowed to run the wall? <laughs> See what happens. Uh, now, unfortunately, what happens is the program crashes and it takes about 20 minutes to get it back up and running again. So uh, don't hit him, please. <laughs> Our wash would sink him anyway at this speed. Right, we'll go a bit further. Right, now if you put the wheel hard over that way, that's great. What we'll do is as it's a twin engine boat, like all our lifeboats, one engine forward, one engine astern, she should spin round virtually in her own length. Reverse in. A bit, bit more. And I can see where we're going there. I'm not very good at reversing the car. Hold the wheel central. You can see that's a, a yeah, rudder indicator, which is very useful. And, uh, there we are. If you can just give me a few minutes. I'll... We haven't drowned us yet. Mm. <laughs> Your exercise has 